Hopefully you guys can see it, but in the background here, this building right there, that one that I'm pointing to, that is my office building of the firm I work for, but I will not be stepping foot in that building for a long time because I just got the word that I'm allowed to continue working from home for the foreseeable future. So until next June or next July, I'm gonna continue working from the comfort of my own living room, which saves me so much time and so much hassle. So that's a huge plus. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. I've been working at one of the big four accounting firms for a few months now in their tax practice. My school is a non-target school, so the firm never sent anyone on campus to directly recruit anyone. So this means if I still want to get in, which of course I did. I had to go outside the box. So today I'm gonna tell you the story, how I did it, and it's a pretty cool story. So let's go. So let's start the story of me back in high school because I want to emphasize the importance of those basic jobs that you should have in high school and then in college on the side. In high school, I ref soccer for about a year and a half. I also worked at a restaurant my senior year and then into college when I was home on break. And then my first and second year of college, I worked on campus in the call center, calling alumni, asking for money. These basic jobs are so underrated because they teach you the importance and the ability of dealing with stupid people. They're crucial for personal development because they teach you those soft skills, you know, that you can't learn anywhere else other than dealing with people face to face. Me being a ref, constantly getting harassed for every single call I made or working at a restaurant learning how to deal with rude freaking customers or when I worked in the call center and I called alumni asking for money, no one wants to hear from me and especially no one wants to donate money on the spot like that. Even though these jobs heavily sucked at times, I learned how to deal with these types of people. In college when you're interviewing for internships or after college when you're interviewing for a job, you gotta already have these soft skills developed because they don't have the time to teach you these skills when you start work. They don't have time to teach you how to work with others or how to solve a problem or how to take criticism you got to already have these skills developed at that point they only got time to teach you the technical skills you need to actually perform the job all the soft and interpersonal skills you got to already have ready to go especially at the big four so to start out the story my basic level work experience in high school and the beginning of college helped me tremendously of getting my foot in the door All right, so now I'm in college and I double majored in accounting and finance. One, to have the variety of the potential job opportunities down the line with a finance major and two, to get the 150 credit hours I need to sit for the CPA exam. All these accounting firms had these one or two day leadership events. My freshman and sophomore year, I probably went to 10 of these, 10 different firms, none of the big four. One day I was searching online for more of these leadership events because I wanted to go to as many as I could. I saw one with a smaller regional firm in Sacramento, California. At this point, I'm still living in Cleveland, right? So at first thought, I'm like, well, it's in California, why would I go all the way out to California, especially for just one or two days? But as I read into it more, I saw that they covered all expenses. Hotel, flight, meals, everything was totally paid for. And me, loving to do spontaneous shit, I said, let's do it, why not? So I applied, I got a phone call back like a day later probably, had a quick interview, passed it, and then they booked my flight and my hotel for me, and off I went to Sacramento, California. So I flew to California, did the two day event with the firm, and while I was there, I met with an associate, and we struck up a number of good conversations, got know each other over the course of the two days and at the end of the two days we got talking about the big four somehow and she mentioned she had a really close friend at pwc in their san jose california office so i asked if she would mind sending my resume over to him because i used my good people skills that i had developed for my jobs in the past i was able to strike up a good enough relationship with her over the course of 48 hours if that so she was more than happy of sending my resume over to her friend at pwc and that's how i first got my foot in the door Fast forward a little bit, I got an email from the PwC associate in San Jose. I scheduled a phone call with him. I actually talked with him on the phone during my lunch break when I was interning at another company that summer. We talked for maybe 10, 15 minutes. It went very well. So he passed my resume over to the West Coast recruiter because that's where he was. Keep in mind, I was living in Cleveland still, right? And at that time I wanted to keep working in Cleveland. So fortunately I got my resume passed from the West Coast recruiter to the Midwest recruiter of PwC to the specific Cleveland office recruiter of PwC. The Cleveland recruiter sent me an email and we had 
had an initial interview. That interview went very well, so fast forward over the next three months or so, I had interviews with three more people because there's multiple rounds. Each interview was with a person of a higher level than the last, so my last interview was with a partner. That seemed to go very well, as did the rest of them. So a few days after my final interview with that partner, he reached out to me via a phone call and said, congrats, man, we'd like to give you an offer for an internship in summer 2019, the next summer, and I took it on the spot. So in the summer of 2019, this is the summer between my sophomore and junior year of college. I interned with PwC in their Cleveland office and it went great, so I wanted to come back. I did well enough in the internship that they offered me another internship right after that one for the following summer in 2020. When they offered that, I was thinking I wanted some kind of change, so I inquired if they had a spot in Atlanta. They said, yeah, we got a spot in Atlanta for you. Do you want it? I said, yeah, I want it. Let me get it. So that offer for the internship in the summer of 2020 was out of the Atlanta office, and of course, that was supposed to be full go in person 100%, but then COVID happened, so they adjust it to a few weeks online after that internship in the summer of 2020 i got another offer from them to return again this time in the summer of 2021 after i graduated college and fast forward more than a year here i am All right, we'll be ending the night with a classic taste test. I got this place called Manuel's Tavern. And if you watch my channel, or if you haven't for a while now, you know my favorite food on the planet is a chicken sandwich. So what we got today, a freaking chicken sandwich. I'm an avid critic of chicken sandwiches, so I'm gonna give this one a go. First bite, everyone knows the rules, right out of the box. This looks amazing. Let's give it a go. It's pretty juicy. It's a little burnt though, but the Swiss cheese is pretty freaking good also. 8.246 out of 10. So to recap how I got into the big four from a non-target school. It's putting consistent extra work over time to eventually meet the right person that is willing to help me. And they were willing to help me because I put my very best foot forward from the start and connected with them well. I literally flew to California for a two day thing with a firm I had virtually no interest with. And that led me to eventually land a full-time job in Atlanta a few years later. Pretty cool. I had to throw on a hoodie to come outside here because it's finally cooling off, which I'm psyched about because it's been so freaking hot down here the entire summer. At night, it cools off to like 55, 60 degrees now, which I think is perfect. If I could control the weather, I would make it 60 degrees year round, hoodie season all the time. But if you have not followed me on Instagram, here it is right now. Please follow me, shoot me a DM, connect with me, always down to connect and meet new people. I just went out with a subscriber the other night and I also ran into one at my gym. So I'm slowly but surely getting to know the people here in the city that follow Follow me on YouTube. So please, if you have not, reach out to me and we'll go from there. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you drop me a thumbs up and click subscribe because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. See you next Monday.